power of the Holy Ghost. And in and, and due season, the Bible says that if we do not grow weary, if we do not faint, amen, in due season, uh, in a special moment with God, amen, we will reap if we faint not. I'll tell you what, I'm glad I've been living holy all week long because on Sunday I enjoyed the special visitation of God's Spirit. Amen. That is what it's about, church. Amen. If we're going to show the world who Jesus is, amen, we've got to be walking holy every day of the week. Amen. We've got to keep on being faithful Amen. Even when we get weary and well doing, we think, am I the only one that's trying to live for God and please God? Amen. The forces of hell are fighting against us. Amen. We feel like an island to ourselves. But I want to tell you, if you will have personal revival, if you will be filled with the Holy Ghost, amen, in those moments where God comes by and visits, amen, you will be so glad, amen, that you did not get weary, amen, because you'll we reap a bounty of God's blessing. Oh. Amen. I believe in the move of the Holy Ghost. That's why we need a move of the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's why we need the Holy Ghost in our church services. Because when we're out there in the mission field, that's what the church does. Amen. We go into all the world and preach the gospel. Amen. And as we are faithful, amen, we will reap in those precious moments of God's visit. Amen. Acts 4, 33. Did I give that verse? Acts 4, 33. Someone else read Romans 1, 16. I don't think I did give this verse. I'm sorry. Acts 4, 33. Romans 1, 16. 1 Corinthians 4, 20. 2 Corinthians 4, 7. Let's read these verses. Would someone have Acts 4, 33? And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. Amen. And with great power, the ability or doing, the word is dunamis which means it is power or the ability to do. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ and great grace was upon them all. Let me tell you what. What does that word look like when you begin to look at it? Any other? Dynamite. Dynamite. Amen. It is explosive. It is powerful. God has given us the power the ability to be witnesses. Amen. And grace to be able to do it. Someone else read Romans 1.16. In the day when God shall judge the secrets of men by Jesus Christ according to my gospel. Is that Romans 1.16? No. Romans? Romans 1.16, yes. Yes. 1.16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God Amen. unto salvation to everyone that believes it, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Amen. For I, that's all right, brother, don't worry about that. And I appreciate your, your wanting to do it. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power, the dunamis, the ability to be able to do. Amen. The Word of God says, of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. Amen. We need to be endued with the power of God. We, we, God is powerful in Himself. Amen. He has authority, but He gives us the dunamis, the ability or power to be able to make a difference in the New Testament church. We are the New Testament church. We need the power. I am not ashamed. I am not ashamed of the gospel. For it is the power. Amen. You know what makes this gospel real? Amen. When we see Him in resurrection power. When the Holy Ghost fills us. Amen. It'll make a difference. Someone else read 1 Corinthians 4.20. For the kingdom of God is not word of You can say it all you want. Amen. Do you know what? We can say it all we want. I do not want to be in a church that says the Pentecostal and does not have a move of God's Spirit. I don't. I don't want to be in work. 
And you know what? I am not discouraged tonight. I've been approached by many people who don't believe that God is able to heal. I believe that God is alive from the pit of hell. I still believe God is healing. I already said this. Hey, listen. I was talking to someone today that knows Sister uh, Kay Lehman, and, and they said, I've never seen such faith. I, I, it's just, it's amazing to me. I don't know how she's living. I'll tell you how she's living, because it is a miracle from God. It is a miracle from God. Yes. Amen. God is still doing miracles. Hey, listen, folks. I don't know if you'll keep her for the next 20 years or how long it'll be, but it is still a miracle of God. Yes. There are other things that I know are a miracle. Let me tell you, Brother Craig, uh, that young man, uh, Lucas, uh, 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 he is a miracle. He should have passed away long ago, but he is a miracle. Amen. God is still in the miracle working business. Praise Amen. It's not a word, but it is in power. We need to exercise the power that God gives us. That same spirit that was upon Jesus Christ that allowed him to see blinded eyes open, that allowed him to see lame legs walk, amen, that allowed him to see the dead raised. We can see the same. It's just the church is living in the world and not in power. We need the power. Amen. Someone to read 2 Corinthians 4 7. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. I quote this all the time. I love this verse. Here that Paul writes, though we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power or the dunamis, the ability or doing power, may be of God and of us. I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't want to be in the pulpit trying to do it on my own. I can't. I don't want to go to the hospital room and do it on my own. I can't. I don't want to pray for someone for salvation on my own. I can't. I don't want to pray for someone to be filled with the Holy Ghost on my own. I can't. The excellency that's in this earthen vessel is the dunamis, the power or the ability that comes from God. Listen. The greatest thing that we can fill our vessel with is the power of the Holy Ghost. He is the doing ability. Amen. He is the one that can help us be able to reach out to a world that des desperately need to see Him. They see Him dead and in the grave. We see Him in resurrection power and newness of life. And the only thing that will make a difference for us being able to convey the power of God in His life and His livelihood and His ability is being filled with the Holy Ghost. It is the dunamis. Only God has the actualness, the power or the authority over the results of prayer, over the results of worship, over the results of our lives. But He has given us the dunamis or the power to be witnesses. Let's not get God's power mixed up with the power He wants to give us. He has authority. I don't have authority. But He gives me power and authority through that. We need to know the power of God. The book of Acts well, let me just go back and say this. Remember Luke is writing his gospel. He's writing the book of Acts. Luke says, and, and the beginning will be in Jerusalem. And in the book of Acts, Jesus says, And you shall be my witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in, in all Judea and in Samaria, to the uttermost parts of the earth. Really, when you look at the book of Acts, it's centered around two apostles and two cities. 
It is centered around Peter, who was an apostle to the Jews at Jerusalem. And then you see the other apostle was Paul, who was an apostle to the Gentiles at Antioch. And so Peter's ministry reaches to Judea and Samaria, but Paul's ministry reaches uh, to the uttermost parts of the world, even to Rome. Remember what Rome did? They sealed up the tomb of Jesus. They put the signet ring on there. They, they, they tried to prevent his resurrection. They thought they had heard the end of Jesus Christ, uh, the Son of God. Amen. But all the Apostle Paul said, I'm taking the gospel to the Gentiles. I'm taking it to Rome. Let me tell you what, you've not heard the last of Jesus Christ. I have seen him in resurrection power. And he began to preach the gospel and it began to spread all around the world. Amen. That Jesus Christ is alive and well. Amen. I have seen him in resurrection power because I've seen it demonstrated in the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. We are to be His witnesses. I want you to listen to something tonight. I'm closing with this. We are to be His witnesses. Witnesses equate to the same word meaning martyr. You kind of stand like this. Well, I don't want to be a martyr. I'm going to live. I really don't want to die. I don't. I like living. So he's called me to be a part. You see, when you look at what the word martyr means, it means one who literally lays down their life for the gospel. It's not just being willing to, live, to die to the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, but it's being willing to live to the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is martyr. I don't want to just die for him. I want to live for him. And the only way we can live for him is when we're endued with power from on high. We have 28 chapters in the book of Acts, and 29 times the word witness is there. It's used both as a noun and as a verb to be a witness with our lives and be a witness with our testimony. Amen. He knows the times and the seasons. It's in his hands. He has all power, but I'm glad that he's given me power and ability to live for him. And the only way we can do it is by being filled with Holy Ghost. Once again, he's the one that purchased it. He's mine. He gave the people to it. We've got to do it. Does anyone else have a question or comment tonight? I'm really excited about talking about this. I think God and God gives anybody the Holy Ghost when they're sleeping. Right? You know I, mean? Is that... I think, and I want to be careful what I say. We need to be seeking the Holy Ghost. I think God can fill you in church. I think God can fill you laying in your bed. I don't think you're going to be sleeping. I think you're going to be cognizant of it. If, if he does put you while you're sleeping, you're going to wake up and you're going to know that you're filled. You're going to know that you know that you know. It's an experience that you're aware of. That is the evidence of being filled with the Holy Ghost, speaking in other tongues. Everybody that gets filled with the Holy Ghost, you know, you to get tongues and you got to pray for them. Well, you want to seek God. And as you're seeking God, if you are filled with the Spirit, we can have a wave of glory. Remember in the upper room, the, the, the wind blew in. We can experience the wave of glory. I've seen people get excited. You know, it's not filled with the Holy Ghost. They'll jump up and down. And they're excited. But being filled with the Holy Ghost is outside the evidence of speaking.